I mean, what is a career? You get your first job, in my case, doing weekend weather in Syracuse, New York, and I never wanted to be on TV. I wanted to work in television as a writer or producer, and here I am now, all these years later, doing this. It, it, it's really one of those things that, you know, you didn't plan. And so here we are, and I'm just so grateful that I'm still working. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Al is a icon. If you ever go to the airport with Al Roker, you will see that he is so beloved. He's the closest thing to a national treasure that our country has. Above all things, he is a journalist. I think we, a lot of people know him as this, you know, funny guy who, of course, does the weather and, and brings a lot of, you know, smiles to our faces. But he, at the, at the end of the day, is a hard hit journalist. What I love about Al is, and this is a hard thing for a lot of people to do, Al doesn't take himself seriously, but he really, really takes what we do seriously. The guy can do it all. He can be as serious as he needs to be when he's covering something that's very pressing at this moment. When people are worried about a storm system coming, he will tell it to you straight. He is also not afraid to let his freak flag fly, and I think that's part of what makes Al Roker magical. I know this is a serious award. Al Roker seriously deserves it. He's full of warmth. He's full of love. His eyes are always looking for the person who might be needing a little something extra, who might be needing a hug or an encouragement. I can't tell you how many times over the years I've opened my mail and there's been a card from Al, a handwritten note, just to say, I love you, just to say, you're doing a great job. He's just, he's a very good friend. He cares about people. The hours we have are god awful, but when you wake up and you get to work at four in the morning and you see Al, it makes it a little bit better. It makes the job that much better. In a world that appears to be more uh, divided every day. Al Roker's becoming the one person that we can all trust. He's earned that, right? Over years and years of his excellence, his journalism, his broadcasting, his energy that comes through the, your television. You just, you see Al Roker and you smile and there's very few of those people left on earth. So he's very deserving of any award he gets. The impact of Al Roker is, is truly incredible. I think, you know, you, you see it in the stories he tells, you know, weather aside. The way he tells a story, the way his voice just sounds like he's talking directly to you, I think it helps people receive that story that much more. I mean, there, there are very few people who have crisscrossed the country, crisscrossed the world, uh, telling compelling stories and introducing us to a special people for a longer period of time than Al Roker. And he does it with this this, this, this swag and this, uh, he's just got this way about him that endears him to so many. You work with really great people. You get to go places that you never imagined possible. You meet people that you could only dream about. Every day is different, and that's what I get excited about. Every day is different, and, and I love getting up and seeing what the next day is going to bring. I remember at the inauguration when Al was able to, you know, fist bump President Biden. You're watching your friend get that moment that you know they've got to be just a, a percent hesitant <laughs> to actually have the guts to go out and, and try to do it. And, and he did it and he got the fist bump and it was, it was just so special. It was awesome. I was like, yes, Al, you did it. Working around Al Roker, it makes me want to be a better journalist, but also just wants, it, it makes me want to be a better person just because he is always in a quest to be better and it makes me want to be better. He's like such a quality human being and father and friend and he's generous and kind and funny. And I mean, all those, he's all of that. You see it on TV, but it's even more special and impactful in real life. I hope people feel a little bit better after they've watched us than before. I like to think maybe we do a little good and that you feel a little better and that you didn't waste time watching me. I think younger journalists can learn the importance of authenticity. That's something you can't teach in a journalism school is authenticity but it is taught through people like, like Al Roker who live it every day, off camera and on camera. It's not just about being on TV or writing the stories, it's about having 
things and causes and issues that drive you, that are central to your being, and you use the platform to shine a light on those things. That's what I've learned from Al. You know, growing up in New York City in the 1960s, there were, there were very few uh, people of color, African Americans on TV. And so I hope that some young kid is looking and saying, and maybe I could do what he does. Uh, or maybe it's it's a young young girl, uh, you know, a person of color who wants to get into STEM. My dad always told me, uh, as a black kid, you're going to have to work twice as hard and be twice as good to get half as far. Uh, and say what you will, uh, I'm a hard worker. I don't know about everything else, but I'm a hard worker. Al, I, I know what a big deal this award is, and I'm so glad that you have been chosen to receive it. You exemplify all the important attributes of being a reporter. Uh, you bring humanity to everything you do. You bring, uh, you bring passion, and more important, you bring authenticity. I couldn't be more proud of you. I'm so thrilled that we get to work together. Congratulations, Al. Congratulations, Al. I cannot think of anyone more worthy and deserving of this honor. I know how hard you work and I know how much you care, and now the whole world knows too. Thank you for your friendship, your stewardship uh, in our profession, and I look forward to waking up early and seeing your smiling face. Congratulations. Al Roker, you are such a humble guy that I know you're thinking, oh, okay, I got this award, let's move on to the next, but I really hope, my prayer for you is that you take a moment push a pause button and receive it. This is this award is beyond deserved and you are so loved my friend. You are so talented and you're just getting started. The Walter Cronkite Award for this man from Queens who's standing tall with his back up. Al Roker, this is your life. Al, my dear friend, there is no one more deserving than you. Congratulations. Uh, congrats, Al. Nobody deserves this award more than you. You are so, so loved. Congratulations, my friend, on a well-deserved award. I don't know a more harder working person in the world than Al, who is appreciative of all the work that we do. And I'd like to thank him uh, for everything that he's meant to me in my career, and I'd also like to congratulate him on receiving this prestigious award. In the world of meteorology, you, Al Roker, are the gold standard, the most trusted weatherman in America. Arizona State University could not have honored a more deserving person. And on behalf of all your friends a few floors up at 30 Rock, a hearty congratulations for receiving the Walter Cronkite Award for Excellence in Journalism. Hey Al, congratulations on the Walter Cronkite Award. That's a really big deal, you know. And I would say, after Walter, you probably are the most trusted man in America, except when you get the forecast wrong once in a while, but that doesn't happen very often. Listen, if longevity and kindness were also requirements for this award, I'd say it's a long time coming. Congratulations, Al, we're so proud of you. Hi, Dad. I just wanted to say congratulations on the Walter Cronkite Award for Excellence in Journalism. What a wonderful achievement, and no one deserves it more than you. Big hugs, and I love you. Hi, Bye. Dad. I just wanted to say I'm very proud of your work ethic, and you push me to go the extra mile every day. And I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you, the way that you spread information and always doing it with a comedic flair, your passion for creativity, and always supporting us. Congratulations. We love you. We love you, Dad. I mean, the Walter Cronkite Award for Excellence in Journalism. Of course, I am a journalist, and of course, I did grow up watching Walter Cronkite all my life. But, 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 but I'm not competitive. I'm not competitive. This is your moment. You deserve it, and you have been excellent in your craft for so many years. And I can't think of anybody who deserves it more. Um, next to me, of course. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, honey. Congrats. For whatever reason, I, I, I've been given this award. I am, I'm really humble, and uh, I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. A kid from Queens who never thought about being on TV and now working on one of the most iconic news broadcasts, not just in this country, but in the world, uh, is, is hard to believe. But I am, I am so, so very grateful.